Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha Car Fix. Today I'm going to show you all of my process of creating gaming YouTube thumbnails in Photoshop. I'm going to show you the process that what I do when it comes to creating YouTube thumbnails like text effect using the glowing effect and etc. many more. So if you're interested to learn how to create this kind of YouTube thumbnails in Photoshop, watch the video until the end. And if you want to create YouTube thumbnails from me, you can just contact me on Fiverr. I'll be there for you to create YouTube thumbnails. So without even talking too much, let's start the video. Now we're here in the magical world of Photoshop and I have already taken an image for the background and also I have a model image and in this case you can use your own image or you can use any other image that you like. For first we're going to remove the background of the model. Just it's a very easy process that I'm going to do. So you can follow my steps to remove the background first. I'm going to use selection and mask to remove the background. You can just follow my steps and easily remove the background first. After removing the background of the image, now we're going to cut off some of the area and then we're going to convert that image into a smart object. And after that, we're going to create a blank document of full HD size ratio. I will give the high resolution for YouTube thumbnails when it is going to show your viewer. After that, put the background image into your thumbnail and adjust the size according to your needs. And then put the model image into the thumbnail. After that, I'm going to apply Gaussian blur to the background and I'm going to do some of the adjustment by using the layer mask to reduce the sum of the area and give them a very good depth of field in the background. After that, I'm going to use an uh, overlay image in the background and I'm going to do adjustment by selection the layer and by using the layer mask. Now after that, we're going to re change our font into a different style and then we're going to put our logo into the main thumbnail. Adjust the logo according to the size of the thumbnail. After that, adjust the size of the text and also do some of the adjustment to make the text pop up. After adding all the text information into our thumbnail, now we're going to adjust our background and also give that glowing effect into our model. So you can just follow my steps and apply this effects easily. Here we're going to edit our image and give some color effect by using the camera filter and also again we're going to apply that glowing effect into our model and give that kind of pop-up look into our thumbnail so it's separate from the background. Now we're going to apply inner glow effect into our model and it's going to be give a pop-up and dynamic look. It's going to be a separate model from the background and give that kind of gaming look. So just you can follow my steps and easily do that.
after applying the glowing effect into our model now we're going to apply logo into the background of the model now you can just follow my steps and apply the same effect and create that kind of glowing effect and glowing icon in the back of the model now we're going to apply text effect into the thumbnail just you can follow my steps and apply the text effect using the layer style in the photoshop Now you can see we're just almostly done now we're going to apply the camera filter and edit our image and give that kind of color grading using camera filter so just follow my steps and you can just do some of the experiment and see which is best for your image or your thumbnail and i just show all the process of creating youtube thumbnails in photoshop i just want to show my process of creating gaming youtube thumbnails that what i do when it's come to give that kind of glowing look and also give th that kind of text effect and i hope that you learn a lot of things in this video and if you learn something and like this video hit that like button on the down and also let me know your opinion in the comments because i would love to hear from you and also if you want to create youtube thumbnails from me you can just feel free to contact me on fiber i'll be there for you so that's it for today see you in my next video till then bye bye and also please be sure to subscribe